Hi, one of the main lessons in this story is, parents, pay close attention to your children. Be careful who you bring around them. Wrong company could be detrimental to your family. Don't live in fear or paranoia but be wise by being led by the Holy Spirit inside of you, and don't be fooled by people's smiles and friendliness that you put your guard down around them, trusting them around your children especially smaller children. People have evil motives. Be in your right state of mind to know what's going on around you and don't taint your mind with drugs and alcohol because you give the devil access to steal kill and destroy you and your family one way or another. Be sober as the Bible says. Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about, seeking whom he may devour. 1 Peter 5, 8 KJV Neither give place to the devil. Ephesians 4 27 KJV I'm about to go grocery shopping. And? And do you need me to pick you up anything special? You know what I like. Afraid I do, but you told me you would work on quitting drinking. You know I don't like it when you drink. I'm working on it, but it's hard. You know I have a problem with alcohol. Just get me a case of beer one more time, and I promise I'll stop afterwards. Please. You said that last time. This time I really promise I will. You will. I will. You really promise, like for real. Hun, I promise, for real. Well okay, we'll be back. I'm taking Demetria with me. I'm glad you took me with you this time. Why you say that honey? Well, because when dad invites his friends over, one of them. One of them what honey? Don't stop. One of them likes touching me inappropriately and I have to fight him off every single time. What? Why haven't you told us about this sooner? Every time I tried telling dad he's always passed out on the couch and you're at work at night. It don't help when you work at night, so about the time you guys are available to talk about it, I just let it go. Well that's all about to change today. No mom, if you say something, then both you and dad will be working daytime to be with me at night but I don't wanna be in the house in the daytime alone, after. After what Demetria? After little Sherman died. In broad daylight mom, I don't wanna be at home by myself. I see, and I understand. Well, we'll explore our scheduled options, your father and I, okay. I don't think he's gonna wanna change his day job, so maybe I'll work from home in the daytime. But when we get back home you tell me which one of his friends touches you inappropriately, you hear me? Yes ma'am. I see one of his friends is here. It better not be him. Put the groceries away while I go speak to your father. Okay. Oh, I didn't know you was here. Well now you know, and don't you look pretty today. Don't touch me or I'll tell my dad. You mean you're drunk of a dad who's always passed out? That's laughable. Don't fight it honey. Just let me have my way with you and I promise you'll like it. Mom, dad help. Shut up. You don't want to mess with me I'm warning you. That's a good girl. And that's what she told me. That's why she's been cutting her hair again. And wait, it sounds like she's hollering for help. If your friend is touching her. Let's not jump to conclusions. If he's touching her I'm calling the cops. You pervert. Step away from my baby. What gives man? I trusted you. Just for that, you're fired. Or did you forget you work for my brother you drunk? You don't have the power to fire anyone and how dare you put your filthy hands on my 17 year old daughter you disgusting pervert. It's your fault I pushed you. But she's 17. So? So she's fair game. She's legit. We are no longer friends, so when the cops arrest you and book you, don't you dare try apologizing later on. Keep your sorry apologies you filthy human. This isn't over. I'm glad you and dad came when you did. It's okay sweetie. It's all over now. He's no longer welcomed here. I told the cops everything. I'm so sorry girls. If I wasn't drinking so much I would have realized what was going on. Baby girl can you forgive me? I'm really sorry. I don't know if I can forgive you dad. You've been promising us you would stop drinking but nothing's changed. 
and I had to endure your ex-friend touching me for three months when you invite him over on your days off at night. He knew you were too drunk to notice or do anything about it. I was humiliated by him. And mom works at night so she was of no help either. So I don't know if I can forgive you, but I'm going to my room. She's right. I gotta stop drinking, but it's so hard. Honey, I need help. I think it's time to check yourself into an alcoholic rehab program. I think you're right. But what about you? How will you handle working alone for a while? I don't know but I think we'll manage for a couple of months. I may consider working from home. Bay, I apologize for asking you to get me more beers when I knew I shouldn't have been drinking. I'll throw them all away, even the ones you bought today. You will. That's a step in the right direction, babe, I'm so proud of you. And don't worry, she'll forgive you. I'll go talk to her. Thanks, baby. I'm so grateful to have you in my life. Do you forgive me? I do, but Demetrius, you gotta change, for us. And I'll be here with you along the way. You're an amazing and beautiful woman. Thanks for being by my side. Of course, Bay. of course. Sweetie, are you okay? I'll be fine. I'm always here for you if you wanna talk. Let me ask you something. Where exactly did he touch you? He grabbed my chest, slapped my backside and he tried rubbing me down there. Oh honey, I'm so sorry you had to endure that. Is there more? Yes. He'd even sniff my hair. Not to mention he tries kissing me like today but I always push him away. Mom I was so humiliated and scared he would try doing more since he knew dad wasn't in his right mind to protect me. He won't get away with this and you can believe that. I knew something was off by just looking at him, but he always seemed so nice. What a phony. We will get you all the justice you deserve, don't worry. Next day. I'd like to have a word with you. What's up? Is it true? Is what true? Is it true you falsely accused my brother of raping your daughter? I did not falsely accuse him of rape, but I saw him touching her inappropriately in my kitchen. So you are accusing him of doing something to her? I know what I saw, me and my wife. My daughter complained to my wife this has been going on for three months. And you don't find it suspicious that she's just now saying something? Or were you too drunk to notice? You even come late to work with alcohol on your breath, so how can I take what you say serious? You could have saw your carpet dancing for all you know, since you're always drunk. I admit I drink a lot and I'm sometimes late for work, which I apologize for, but I don't apologize for standing up for my baby girl. I'm not always drunk and I know what I saw and I know she's telling the truth. He was my friend, or so I thought and I trusted him around us. Why don't you do something about your brother before he catches a case? Why are you protecting a pervert when many girls' lives are at stake being around him? Why not do the right thing, even if your brother's? Oh so you're calling my brother a pervert? Yes, I know what I saw. With what? Your eyes. Your bloodshot eyes. That's my daughter. That's my brother. So you not gonna do anything about it? Oh I'm gonna do something about it alright. Thanks man. That's all we wanted, some justice. Don't thank me too soon. You're fired. I can't have my brother's reputation tarnished for something you say he did without evidence and your eyes don't count. Plus you're almost always late to work but I let you keep your job because you were friends with my brother and you should have been thanking him not accusing him. Both me and my wife saw him. And? You know what? I don't want to work for a crook like you anyway. I quit. And your brother will do time, mark my words. When he starts touching your daughter or son, have this same energy. My children love him. Have a nice day. Ah. Oh. Honey what's wrong? My stupid boss fired me. What why? Ah. Oh. Please calm down and tell me why he fired you. Because he's protecting his pervert of a brother. They lied on me saying I said he raped Demetria but I said I saw him molesting her, touching her inappropriately in my kitchen but he didn't want to listen. He's bent on protecting that pervert. Now I lost my job. And then he said, if you fall for me, I will catch you. Ha 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 ha. So you like him? I'm not sure because I only see him at church, never outside of church but so far he's sweet. And attractive. 
His folks live on the other side of town. And what about you? Don't you have a guy who likes you too? Story of my life. Just the same pervert. Something needs to be done about him. I can't believe he's still touching you. Yeah, but I can't say anything because of what he threatened us what he'll do. I remembered. Don't worry, we'll figure something out. It's gonna be okay bestie. I'll hook you up with a friend at church to take your mind off this drama, if your parents will ever bring you back to church. Yeah, maybe. Well later bestie. Bye bestie, I'll text you later. Okay, bye Oscar. <coughs> See you. Hi princess. Yes I'm home early today. But why dad? Did that pervert's brother fire you? Yeah, yeah that's why but don't worry. I'll get something else real soon. Daddy I think you should get help while I look for a job to help out. And where's mom? Did she leave for work already? She did, and what kind of work could you get that will help pay all these bills? I don't know but, something. That's very courageous of you. And I forgive you for being passed out while your friend touched me, just please don't let it happen again. Thanks baby girl, I'm glad you forgive me. Now I feel so much better and believe me, that's never happening again. I'm not done fighting for your justice, and, getting you someone to talk to. I love you dad. I love you too princess. Now to see what kind of jobs are available, that pays good enough while daddy is jobless, getting himself together. Nope, nope, nope. Hem. This one looks interesting. Billionaire needs help around mansion. Two is fired, looking to hire two more qualified candidates. Says it pays. $5,000 a week plus great benefits. Oh god I hope this isn't a scam because it sounds too good to be true. But I'll take my chances now where do I sign up? Next day. There. Applied for the job. Hopefully I'll hear back from them soon. Baby why are you crying? I'm going to get help. Which is a good thing. A happy moment, right? It is, and I'm glad you're taking the next step to get clean, but I'm gonna miss you. And the fact you're agreeing to get help is wonderful and touching. We've been so long with this fight and I'm so proud of you for finally getting help. Ah, oh, well yes, after everything that happened I gotta get clean, but I'll only be going for a couple of hours. A couple of hours every day from now on. But I know it's gonna be great. It'll be fine and before you know it, I'll be a new and changed man. Tom and Jerry is so funny. A new message. Oh wow. It's from the billionaire's secretary. It says, your application has been received and is being reviewed. We'll give you an answer in a couple of hours. Yes. I hope I get it. Cheer up my cupcake. I'll be back soon. I love you. I love you too. Them. I want some more of that when I get back. <laughs> Mommy guess what? Wait why are you crying mom? Because your father just left for his first rehab appointment and it's a touching moment for me. But I'll be fine. So what's the big surprise? Oh, okay. I understand it's a special moment for you mom. Well, I applied to work at a billionaire's mansion today. And just a couple minutes ago, they said my application is received and is being reviewed. It's so exciting. Like what if I actually get accepted? I'll be working for a billionaire mom. A billionaire. That's exciting honey, working for a billionaire. Your dad told me about it and I think it could be a good thing. Thanks mom. I'm gonna see if Stella wants to work with me. It's worth a try. Morning. Morning. So I applied for this new job. Working for a billionaire and I was wondering if you wanted to work alongside with me. There's another spot open. I'm waiting to hear back from them but they said they received my application and are reviewing it. I just thought wow, how cool it would be if my best friend worked with me. I'm not sure, what would we be doing? I think it said housekeeping. Oh no 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 bestie. This is not the job for me, sorry girl. Besides, 
You know the guy the first was telling you about. I think I wanna pursue something with him. I'm almost 20 years old and I want to hopefully secure my future with a husband. Oh, okay. Don't be sad. I'm sure whoever will be working with you will like you because you're a great girl. I guess. Oh, absolutely. So, a billionaire. Is he cute? I don't know. I don't even know if it's a male or female. You better give me all the details if it's a male, and don't leave out anything missy. Okay. And see if your parents can bring you to church this Sunday so I can introduce you to some friends. Okay. I gotta go. Bye. Bye. I'm sorry honey. It's okay. I'll be working there without my best friend but I'll be fine. Oh, and you think we can go to church this Sunday? I think we can do that. It's been a while since we went so why not? Great, thanks mom. I don't recognize this number. It might be your new job calling you. Hello. Is this Demetria? Yes, this is she. Who is this please? I'm calling you from the Strongman Mansion. You applied for the job this morning, is that right? Oh, yes, yes I did. I'm the secretary, and I'm calling to see if you can come out today for an in-person interview, unless this is a bad time. Never a bad time and sure. I can make it out today. I'll just need your address. Before that, please remember to dress appropriately for the occasion. When you get her ring the front bell, and please have a seat until it's time to be seen. Dress appropriately, ring front bell, and sit and wait patiently for my interview. Got it. Excellent. Well if you can be here in two hours at the most, we'd really appreciate it. The address is... Aha, got it. Thank you for the opportunity and see you soon. They want me to come in for a job interview today. Today? Yes, in two hours max. That was pretty fast, huh? But, okay, well is this what you're wearing? I think so since this is the only professional thing I have. I hope it's good enough, but let me look in the mirror to tidy anything up. Okay but don't be long. I'll be waiting in the car. Okay. We're coming up to the address. It's over there. I'll have to make a U-turn. Wow, what a beautiful mansion. I agree, wow. Well let's get going. Mom no, I wanna go by myself. Mimi honey, you're only 17. I'm going in with you. But mom my birthday is next week. How can you ever trust me to make the right decisions if you never let me out of your sight? Please, trust me, just this once. Just this once, then I can worry every time later. You know what I mean mom. Please. Fine, but don't take too long and call me if something goes wrong or scream for help as loud as you can. There's a note on the door down here. Take the elevator to the fifth floor. Enter the library room, ring bell, sit down and wait and someone will be with you. I can do this, yes I can totally work for a billionaire. Right, fifth floor, okay, wow it's so beautiful in here, even the elevator is lovely. Ring bell. This must be it. There. Sit and wait, sure, I can do that. Welcome Miss Demetria. Oh, hi. Thank you for waiting patiently. Yeah, no problem. Well if you don't mind, I'm gonna need you to. Um, put a shirt on sir. That's why I came to you. Where's all my shirts? Probably in the dryer. This is why I need a housekeeper. Maybe you got one. Meet Miss Demetria. Hello your highness. But I am not a king. 
or even a prince, just a billionaire. Right, just rich. Sorry. How old are you? 17. A word with you. Sure thing, if you'll excuse us Mr. Matria. Sure thing Mr. Secretary, and Mr. Billionaire, please try harder to wear proper clothes because you never know who's around. It's only modest. And are you late for your own interview? <laughs> I guess she told you. Hope I didn't ruin my chances working here. You look so much better with a shirt on. Is that so? You know what I mean. I know Miss May, just pulling your leg. Thanks for getting my shirt. You were the best. Well can you send the girl in here so I can interview her, although I don't think I'll be hiring her. And why not? Daryl said he likes her. I heard she got you all the way together. Yeah yeah yeah, besides all that, she's a teen. Mr. Daryl did a background check on her and she's also still in high school. I need a full-time housekeeper not a part-time child in school, I mean what exactly am I gonna do with that? Maybe give her a chance to prove herself. She's made Daryl laugh and you know nobody makes him laugh, and besides, school is almost over, in a couple of weeks I believe. Give her a chance, for me. After all, she wouldn't have applied for this job if she didn't need it. Maybe she really needs the money, just ask her. Yeah, maybe. Well, send her in. Right away, sir. You're sure you in the right place. I'm pretty certain the ad said to dress appropriately for the occasion. You do know you're applying to work for a billionaire, right? Of course I know. That's why I wore this outfit. The billionaire is one of the cutest men out there on the market. I feel sorry for you that you did not. Dress the part. He's a rich and handsome bachelor. Do you really think he wants to be looking at an old nanny working for him when he can have a hot, tender, pretty young thing constantly in his face instead? Don't be naive. He may even marry me after he hires me. You're pretty sure of yourself. A billion percent sure because no one refuses me the way I look. I mean, look at me. Don't I look good? You wouldn't even say no to this, am I right? If you showed up at my house looking like this after I made it clear to dress appropriately in my ad, I would reject you in a heartbeat and ban you from ever applying to any of my ads again, and request you get some mental help, if I'm being honest. Right. And you're just jealous, I mean look at me and look at you. I'm so, not jealous but think what you want. Now that I think of it, you could be a younger version of me if you were prettier and thinner. Oh well. We all can't be beautiful I suppose. Oh please. I would die of thirst first before I ever wanna look like a cheap KFC whore like you. All breasts legs and thighs, no sauce, not even tartar sauce or class. You are the definition of the dollar menu. And you're far from young and without all that makeup you're not so pretty so who you think you fooling. I never. And you never will with me again, but you tried it. The boss will see you now, right this way. Okay. Oh, and, I'll be with you in a minute. Like my shirt. Oh, ah, uh, sorry about earlier. Don't backtrack now Missy. Please, have a seat. So, Miss Demetria, tell me a little bit about yourself and why should I hire you? First I just wanna say that I'm very grateful to be considered for the job. I'm determined. Hard working and I like being on time. I never worked for a billionaire, not even a millionaire but I'm a fast learner. You should hire me for these reasons, sir. Have you ever worked before? No. As suspected. And how old are you again? 17. You're very young and still in school, right? And why should I hire you? Cats got your tongue. Why would a 17-year-old high school child wanna work full-time here? Well, the reason why I want, no, why I need this job is because my parents are struggling. My dad is an alcoholic and he lost his job recently. He'll be going to rehab every day starting today and my mom's job won't cover all the bills. I said I could help out with bills and this job opportunity came up. If you bless me to work for you, 
I promise I won't let you down. Bless your heart. And yeah, that's pretty messed up about your dad. Sorry. It's, it's fine. But thanks. I need a full-time worker. What about school? I graduate in two weeks. But still, you are only 17. I'll be 18 next week. So you are okay spending the night sometimes? Excuse me, spending the night here, with you. Yes, overnight. And no, not in my bed. Living here was in the ad, only for a couple of years. It was in the ad. You didn't see it. Um, I didn't see that part. I'm pulling it up on my phone and sending you the ad. Have a closer look. You're right. I must have just saw how much this job pays and jumped on the opportunity without reading the whole thing. That's why it pays to read the whole contract before signing on the dotted line. You got me there. No pun intended. Okay, so let's wrap this up. Yes or no? But I'm still in school. Do you want the job or not? Are you really considering me for the position? And what exactly will I be doing? Wash clothes, prepare food when Miss May is sick or unable to, and help me find the best charities to donate money to. Can you handle that? Yes, yes I can. Then it's settled. I'll pick you up from school, and you can only be here full time after your turn 18, and after graduation. That sounds like a plan, thank you so much. But since I only have two more weeks of school, how about I attend the rest of school online by cyber here? Then after my birthday and graduation, I'm all yours and I'll get started on cleaning right away. You're sure you wanna finish school by cyber? I'm very sure because I get to live in a mansion. It's not every day you get this opportunity. Maybe not for you, but I'm quite used to it. Right. Great. Well sign this and I'll walk you out. Thank you so much. My parents will never believe this. Well make them a believer. He smells so good. You're still there. I said it was the hug and blowing me a kiss for. Oh, I, ah. Uh, I'm just so happy to work for you. Okay, no problem. Hope to see you soon. And for what it's worth, you are a courageous young woman and I'm sure your parents are proud of you. Ah, thank you. And behind this handsome face is a sweet heart and soul. I'm sure I'll enjoy working for you from now on. I appreciate it. Well, see you. And sorry for telling you off earlier. You ain't tell nobody off. Yes, thank you, God. Whoop whoop. And there she is. She looks happy. Maybe she got the job. Ah yeah, ah yeah, I got a job, I got a job. Hi, sweetie. Wait, don't tell me. You got the job right. Mom, yes, and I'm so excited. Congratulations. I knew you would. Well, tell me the details. When you start, how much you're getting paid? The payment. I forgot to ask him that. Mom, can I please go ask him right quick, please? As long as it don't take long. It won't. I'll be right back. If that's all, then you can see yourself out. No, that's not all. What if I want more from you, cutie? That was nice. Real nice. But if you are going to work for me, we'll keep this professional. You know what they say. All work, no play makes you a dull boy. Maybe so, but I never mix business with pleasure. It complicates things. I'm sure you understand. If you say so, but can I have one more kiss? Besides, you know you want to, boss. What did I just say? Oh, shut up and get over here. And you taste good, and there's more where that came from. I'll see you in two days. Yes, you will. Later, Zaddy. And that's how it's done. Can I help you with something? No, I guess not. Females, Demetria, get back in here now. I'm not finished talking to you. Did I hear you right? I said get back in here. 
Just what? Come closer. Why should I? Fine, stand there. Just tell me why you are acting like this. Because, because, because you kissed her. Okay, and how is that any of your concern? I'm waiting. Because. Because what, Miss Demetria? Because this is a place of work. Yeah, because this is a place of work, not pleasure. Yeah, that's it. Come over here. No. Do you want me to beg in my own house? Get over here now. Okay. Is that the real reason? Look me in my eyes and tell me the truth. So the real reason comes out. What? No, it didn't. I did not tell you. You don't have to verbally tell me. Your body language says it all. What did it tell you, since you know so much? It tells me, you were jealous that another woman kissed me instead of it being you. The only reason you're jealous is because you like me. Otherwise, tell me I'm lying. Boy, bye. You think too highly of yourself. We both know I'm telling the truth and to be honest, I think it's cute. I can explain. See what had happened was. Maybe when you are older and not working for me, could this be something more? Now tell me why you came back here in the first place. Oh, um, because I wanted to know if pay is the same amount as in the ad. It is, but for you, I'm giving you a sign up bonus. How do $50,000 sound? What, really, but why me and not her? Because I like you better. Come by tomorrow morning and pick it up. Oh my goodness, I'm keeping this for myself and work for my parents. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. I never had this much money before. You're very welcome. Spend it wisely but save some. I'll leave it with my trusted secretary. Just let him know you are picking up the package I left for you. I can do that. Well, I better get going. Bye. Bye. And let this be our little secret. Of course. I take it you're not mad at me anymore. After this much money, nope. Money always did make the ladies like me more. Guess money talks, huh? It helps out, but money isn't everything. It's about the heart for me. But money helps out a lot too. Bye. Everything alright. And did you find out how much you're getting paid? Everything's fine mom and like the ad said, $5,000 a week. Okay okay, we're getting paid. When do you start? Um. About that. Can we discuss it at home? Sure. Your first job, wow. How you like it so far? $5,000 a week. I'd say it's off to a good start. That's a great start. So when you work? Next week, after my birthday. Okay, that's fine. Maybe it'll be the best birthday gift you'll get, working for a billionaire. We surely can't get you any birthday gifts this year. Aw, look at my baby girl with her first job, working for a billionaire. What a blessing. Um, yeah. Hold up, what's with this sudden shift? Something wrong. Nothing's wrong, but when I said I'll start working for him after my birthday. I mean the very next day. I'll even finish school at his mansion. Huh, but why? Because I'll be living there. Yeah, he needs a live-in helper for two years. It said it in the contract. The devil is a liar. You will do no such thing young lady. Mom why? Because you're 17. 18 next week. Still too young. Old enough to make my own decisions. Not under my roof. From one pervert to another. He's not a pervert. Trust me, I would know if he was, but he's not. Besides, I'm trying to do the right thing here. Trying to help you both out with paying some bills. Sweetie, I commend you for wanting to do the right thing but men have certain needs. I don't know what I'll do if a billionaire touched you where he can just buy his way out of prosecution. How old is he? I don't know his age but he's not too old. Mom, you don't even know him. I feel good around him, like why can't you just trust me? It's not you that I don't trust, it's him, and it is him you don't know. He's a billionaire and many times they only want sex. Can't you get another job? I don't care about the money if it will cost you your body and soul living there. 
Mom, can we please just wait till Daddy gets home and see what he thinks? We sure can, but although he's the head, baby I'm the neck. What a day. Well, I'll get some sleep now. Can hardly wait to see you again. Please daddy be on my side. I hope he'll at least agree with me on this. Oh, and I'll text my bestie back later. Time for some shut eye. Three hours later. Daddy's home. Hi baby. I'm back. I missed you. I missed you too. So how was it? It was interesting. So many new people and we all had to introduce ourselves and talk about our struggles with alcohol. Then we had to do some exercises and vigorous problem solving if the situation for alcohol arises. You stink. You need a shower. Yeah, from the exercises. You wanna join me. Give me a good reason why I should. Because I love you and I need you, and missed you and you missed me too. Okay Mr. Poet, let's go. After you my love. Hi dad. Hi mom. Hi baby girl. Hi honey, is there something you want? Yes ma'am, I thought we were gonna ask dad if I can live with the billionaire. Correction, you were gonna ask him but I say no because it's a bad idea. Live with who? Daddy please hear me out. What is she talking about? She wants to work from the billionaire's mansion. But I say it's a bad idea because what if he molests her but nothing be done about it because he's a billionaire who can buy his way out of punishment. I already said no and it's settled. Don't bother your father about this because the decision has already been made. Mom I'll be 18 next week. Daddy the billionaire does not strike me as a pervert. He's very generous and cool, and I would know if he was a pervert or not but he's not. The deal was after my birthday next week I could move into his mansion and work there for two years, washing clothes and cooking meals. It's a beautiful mansion and I wanna live there. Please dad please mom. I'm with your mom on this, and what about finishing school? You'll still be in school after your birthday. And why do you have to live there to work? Can't you just take the bus there and back home or go for your driving license? We can rent you a car. Because living there is a part of the contract. I didn't see it at first because I was quick to take on the job without reading everything but after double checking, he requires his helpers to live there. For me, it's two years, and I won't be the only one. There's already elderly people living there and another person to be hired soon. So I'm not the only one. Please let me work from there. Are you really considering this? She can always get another job where she can return home safe and sound. That's true too. How about we discuss it? I mean it's not like she'll be the only one living there. But still, you make great points too honey. I don't want our little girl getting molested and there's nothing we'll be able to do about it against a billionaire's money. Exactly. Sweetie this is for the best. We're only looking out for you. He's not a pervert. Why don't y'all meet him and see he don't give pervert tones? I don't know. They don't always show who they are, right away, until some time, and you still didn't answer my question about finishing school. I only have two weeks of school left. After my birthday, I was going to finish my last two weeks of school at the mansion online, since we're not really doing anything at school the last weeks. My birthday is Sunday, and then I can leave to start my job at his mansion. But I would still attend my graduation ceremony. Daddy I feel safe around him. I don't know. If something bad happens to you we won't have the money to help us like the billionaire does. Nothing bad will happen. You guys are unbelievable. What about having faith in God that everything will be fine? Don't he have more power than a billionaire? <laughs> Let's see what's in the mail today. What? Since when? Anything interesting. Have a look.
Our mortgage went up 35%. We can't afford this house anymore. What are we gonna do? Don't panic. Surely there's something we can do. Are you thinking about it too? What other choice do we have? Maybe this is a blessing in disguise. Maybe. She's my baby and I just don't want anything bad to happen to her. I know how you feel my love, and yes she's our baby girl but she will be 18 soon. I adore how concerned you are but I think we can start to trust her a little, and trust God to keep her safe. At a time like this, maybe her taking on that job is not a bad idea. Tell you what, we'll give it a try but if there's an iota of problems we're pulling her out right away, okay. You sure about this? Yeah, you trust me. Yes baby I trust you. Hey, look at me. It's gonna be okay, don't worry. Let's have faith in God. In the Lord Jesus Christ. Well look at you talking about God. This is new. Demetria suggested having faith in God, and now more than ever, we need to do just that, because let's be honest, we need help financially and this can greatly help us. Also, let's go to church Sunday. Okay, we need it since we haven't been in a while. Yes my dear, I'll call her out now. It'll be alright, don't worry. Demetria come out here. Coming, yes. Sweetie, this was not an easy decision, but your father and I decided to let you take on the job, living there. Really, you will? Yes we will. We trust all will go well in Jesus Christ's name. Just stay out of that man's face and keep distance as much as possible. Only do your job and I expect you to finish school online like you said you would, and call us every day. I'll personally pick you up for your graduation in church. Yay. Thank you dad thank you mom. Yes sir I will do everything you said. It'll be just fine in Jesus Christ name amen, you'll see. Yahoo. Thank you Jesus. I'll text my bestie and then get something to eat because I'm famished. But I gotta dance first. <laughs> And now to text my best friend. Guess what? I'm going to be working for the billionaire I was telling you about but plot twist. I'll be living there working in his mansion. The mansion is so big and beautiful and he is so cute. Kind, caring and masculine. I can hardly wait. Yeah yeah. Sunday, Demetria's birthday. Happy birthday sweetie pie. Don't you look extra beautiful today? Thanks mommy. You look extra beautiful too. Ah, thanks honey. I guess we're both looking a little extra today. <laughs> yes ma'am I guess so. Well, let's go to church. Demetrius dear let's go. Already babe, and don't you look absolutely breathtaking. Why, thank you. And you look quite fetching yourself. Don't forget about the birthday girl. Never. Happy birthday birthday girl. Thanks, Daddy. My little girl is 18 already. Yep. My bestie wants me to ride with her to church. Can I? Sure. Tell her to drive safely. Thanks, Dad. Mom, see you two at church God willing. Drive safely too. Are we sure we're okay with her going to live with that billionaire tomorrow? We'll have to be. Her working there making all that money is helping us out. It'll be fine my love, okay. Okay. Yeah okay. Bestie. Hey bestie. Happy birthday. Thanks. You have a birthday coming up too. I do and we're going to celebrate mines too. So, remember the guy the first was telling you about at church, who's friends with the guy who likes me. Yeah I remember. Well they'll be there today and I'll introduce you to his friend. No offense but I don't want another woman introducing me to a man. If he likes me he'll show interest on his own. <laughs> well excuse me for trying to be a friend. 
More like playing matchmaker. And what's wrong with that? What's wrong with that? Yeah. Well, a lot. Why? Because I want my man to be a man, to do exactly what's in their nature to do, to hunt. I want the man for me to hunt me down and win me over. Not because somebody else put him up to it almost like helping himself to me without his own effort. Especially another woman putting us together which is to me, an insult to injury. Unless it's my mom playing matchmaker. <laughs> so yeah, in conclusion. The man for me will come for me himself without any help. I wanna know he's a man and man enough to approach me on his own. Nothing personal against you bestie, and thanks for looking out for me but I hope you understand. I get it and yes, you're right. Thanks a bunch. Of course. So what about the billionaire man you were telling me about? You wanna be with him? I don't know him that well yet, but we'll see how things go, now that I'm older. Still, I'll keep my options open until somebody is serious about me. Makes sense. And wow, look at your cute Bible purse. Oh and I like your shoes. Are they new? They are. I bought them as a little birthday present for myself. And thanks. Demetrius I'm so proud of you, and I mean that. You're getting the help you deserve at rehab and I'm happy to know you actually like it. Thanks Bay. Yeah I like it a lot although I thought I wouldn't. It's still growing on me but I appreciate how they're trying to help us. You know I'm here to support you any way I can, so please don't ever shut me out. You're already doing an amazing job just being my wife. Thank you my love for your love and support, I can never shut you out. I need you. Ah. And don't thank me honey. I always got your back. Yup. And I always got your back too, in your front. Side to side, inside out upside down. <laughs> you better. Yeah baby. So uh, can I have you all to myself when we get home? Maybe, if you buy me flowers. I think I can do that. Babe in the orange heels. Drop that zero and get you a hero. He better be grateful I'm on my way to church or else I'll rip his head off for disrespecting me like that. After service I need another drink. You're my wife. Mine. Pay him no mind dear. Sweetie yes I'm only yours so please don't let what he said get to you. That's exactly what the devil wants, to steal your peace, kill your positive energy and destroy what good thing God is doing in your life which is delivering you from alcohol and the evil spirits behind it. Don't you see, this is your fight but don't give up now. If not for us, then fight for yourself. And look, here we are at church. I knew I should have dropped you off at church while I looked good a parking spot. Well brother, thanks for watching the children for me again. I'll get ready for work now. Not a problem brother, you know I love my nephew and niece. Matilda why are you out here? Where's your brother and uncle? Please don't leave dad. You know I have to go to work and the bus will be coming soon. Go back inside the house. Don't leave me with uncle. Why not? Because, because he put his hands on me in my privates. He does what now? Are you lying on your uncle just to get him in trouble so you can have the other babysitter who sneaks you chocolate treats to watch you? I'm not lying dad, he touched me and my brother. I snuck out to tell you just now before the bus came. The bus is here, I gotta go. Stop making up stories on my brother. He's not touching you, unless he spanks you if you deserve it now run along home. I'll see you later, be a good little girl for your uncle. And where did you go? Did you tell on me? Leave me alone. Afraid I can't do that. You've been a bad little girl and you will be dealt accordingly now go wait for me in your room. Leave her alone you child molester. You dare step to me boy. Well don't worry cause you're next now out of my way. I won't let you. Not anymore. Matilda never lies to me, so why would she start now? I'll kill him if he's touching my children. Let me go back home and see what's going on, and she better be lying to me or else. I think I like sitting on the balcony. Yeah, you can see just about everything up here. 
Saints please turn with me in your Bibles, Revelation chapter 22. You got it dear. Yes. Stay down boy and mind your business. Spencer, Matilda. Get your hands off my daughter I'm going to kill you. What a good sermon that was. Time to go meet the boys. You look like you've seen a ghost. Maybe I did see a ghost. So where's the guy that likes you? Over there. Isn't he handsome? He's kinda cute. And saved. So what's stopping you from letting him take you out? It's not like you have a backup man. Nothing. Nothing at all. See you. But what about my ride home? King Heels. You need a ride home. Hi, I'm Alexander. Oh, hi. What a sweet voice you have. So, you need a ride home, because I'll be more than happy to give you a ride. And why are you so pretty? It's almost criminal. Ah, thank you. But my friend ditched me for some guy over there. Yep, right there. Blonde ponytail, tan dress black heels. That's your friend. Yeah, why? Because I know of her since my friend likes her, and she was going on and on about how amazing her best friend was, and that any guy would be blessed to have her. And to be honest, she was telling the truth. Just one detail she didn't mention. Which was? How beautiful, sweet and gorgeous you are. Again, thanks. The pleasure is mine's. Well, I don't mean to take up your time. I was quite nervous coming over here but, I thought why not. She goes to this church too. Since when? I'll ask her, then I must be on my way. You're really sweet. Wanna get some fresh air? I'd like that. Ladies first. I see she has company. Guess I'll see her tomorrow then. I haven't been to church in a while. How about you? I come every Sunday. Oh and I overheard someone saying it was your birthday today. Happy birthday. Thanks. You're welcome. How old are you now? 18. Nice. I'm 20. Any special plans today? Not sure. Well, I better get back. My folks are probably wondering where I'm at. I can take you home. You think I want you knowing where I live? Haha, <laughs> okay that's fair. Well, let's go back. Well I enjoyed my time with you. Maybe I can take you out sometime. I don't know. Well if you should ever change your mind, please, take my number. Alright, we'll see. I gotta go, bye. Bye, have a nice night. Happy we went to church. As a matter of fact, yes I am. Are you happy we went? I am. We needed it. We sure did. Jesus bless this home. Come on guys. You know what pastor said about blessing our home. Wishing God's blessing on it will greatly help the house be blessed and secured against spiritual wickedness. Nothing evil can overtake us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ and it starts at home. I'm going to my room to start packing. Yeah, she's right. Jesus bless this home. Jesus bless this home. Yes, thank you Jesus. I'ma be living in a mansion hooray hooray. <laughs> Hey, what's up? Did you have a good time with your new boyfriend? I most certainly did, and yes, we're official. He's a sweet gentleman and he's funny. I think we're hitting it off good. But that's not why I called. I'm picking you up to celebrate your birthday tonight. Sorry I can't. I have to pack for tomorrow since I'm moving. Pack tomorrow after school. We're going out tonight so I'll be there in 20 minutes and I'm not taking no for an answer. Bestie what did I just? Not another word. It's your birthday for crying out loud and we're gonna have fun. Don't worry, you're gonna enjoy yourself, and, I'm buying us matching outfits. Where you wanna go? Just a nice night in town. So, you in, right? Do I have a choice? Nope, see you soon. Bye. She can be a bit forceful. I'll have to talk to her about that. But maybe she's right. It is my birthday and I could use a little fun. See you tomorrow sweet prince. Dad mom, my bestie is taking me out for my birthday. See you later.
You all ready to see my new makeover bestie? Yes bestie yes. Let's see it. You sure? Positive. 1000% positive. Will you come on out bestie? The suspense is killing me and the viewers. <laughs> Are you all ready to see my reveal? Come on girl and show me how adorable you look. Okay, here goes. Tada, look at you bestie. Wait, but why aren't we twinning? We were, but then I remembered this is your special night and I don't want to be in the same spotlight when this is your time to shine, not mine's. Ooh I know that's right. That's a real friend right there y'all. Take notes. <laughs> Oh my goodness you look beautiful bestie. Thanks. And so do you, with your pretty red dress. Flawless put together. Thank you, and I really like what she did with your hair. How she combined these three colors evenly and beautifully is truly the highlight of the night. And this dress is absolutely stunning on you. You look like a real life princess. Ah, thanks. Yes, she did an amazing job in under two hours with the both of us. And look at you, you look beautiful yourself with this new look. Wait a minute, are those hair extensions? You know your bestie so well, yes it is hair extensions. Oh, okay, looks really good. Thanks. And now that I think of it, your hair was always long but then it was short for a while, now it's longer. What's going on? I cut it because I was going through something personal. But it always grow back soon afterwards. Before you know it, I'll have my long hair again. I'm so sorry, are you okay? I'm fine now, really, but thanks for asking. I'm glad you're better, I'm here for you, you know. I know you are, but can you not dampen the mood? Let's just enjoy the night. It is my birthday after all. Okay okay, just making sure my best friend is fine. I'm fine. Now let's go. Thanks for making my friend and I look absolutely stunning Wilhelmina. Here's an extra tip. Bye now. Bye girls. Have a nice and safe night. That was amazing babe. Amazing to say the least. I hope you ain't get me pregnant again because we can't afford any more children right now. Guess we'll just have to wait and see my love. Speaking of children, I think we should call Mimi to remind her to be back by 11. I think so too. Hey daddy. Yes sir, I'll be back by 11. Okay, love you too. Bye. Heard them loud and clear, and look, we're here. You can be a poet. Sure we're in the right place. This is where he said to come. You girls are in the right place. Wow birthday girl, you look very beautiful. Pretty in pink for sure. You can go in Stella. Jace is waiting for you. Wait how do we know it's safe to go in there? Why can't he come out here to see her to make sure it's safe? Hold on, I'll get him. Thanks. I didn't think to ask if it was safe or not, being though they're Christian and all. They're Christian but they're still men, and this is a place we never been to before so we gotta be extra careful. That's true, you're wise beyond your years bestie. Just being a concerned friend. How did you get the guys to agree to come out tonight? I told Jace I wanted to go somewhere special tonight, and then I told him it was your birthday and he decided to have your guy come along. Best idea ever. Wow, yeah, and please tell me you have your pepper spray on you. I never leave home without it. Good. And is that music I hear? I hear it too. Is this a club? <laughs> hey Stella, ready to head in? Yep. Yeah. See you later. Almost forgot you like them roughnecks. Long as is saved. And happy birthday to her friend. 
Hi. Hi. Don't you look like a charming prince? A charming prince for my beautiful princess. Shall we? Is this a club? Something like that, but more of an underground pub for Christians who want to have a good time without sinning. There's no alcohol, smoking or narcotics. It's pretty well known among Christians around our age and we're just socializing, dancing and playing video or card games. There's also free food. So, shall we? Well yes. Especially since my friend's in there. She's in good hands, you'll see. Let me check my messages first. Hi Demetria, wishing you a happy birthday and hoping you enjoy your day. See you tomorrow. How romantic of him, leaving me a video message wishing me a happy birthday. I can't believe he remembered. Who's that? Just my boss reminding me I start work tomorrow. Cool, well let me escort you inside, princess. Kay, but what did you do with your hair? Although I like it. I'm glad you like it. It was time for a new haircut. I like your new hairstyle too. You look edgy classy, still gorgeous. Aw oh, thanks. Let's go in now. Wow, this is so much fun. I'm really glad you're enjoying yourself. That makes the two of us. I really am but... It's getting late and I'm supposed to be back home by 11. I can drive you home if you want. But let me at least feed you first. Aren't you hungry? I know I am, but this place don't have what I like to eat. Um. Well, okay. But don't try anything funny or I'll mace you. <coughs> That's hilarious, I could never hurt you. But I can protect you, love you and keep you happy. How about we make it a double date to ease your worries? Let your friend know. That's a great idea. Glad you think so. I really like you Demetria and I want to make you my girl. So what's your name again? Oh, I'm hurt you forgot my name already. Sorry. It's okay, just teasing. It's Alexander. Right. So how did you know my bestie and I were gonna be at the place tonight? Because Jace told me he was hanging out with his girl and said you'd be there too, so I hopped on the opportunity to see you again. She said it was your birthday, and... And you brought no flowers. No chocolate. No nothing. Knowing it's my birthday. Wow Anthony. Some gentleman you are. I say this is off to a bad start. Well actually, I didn't want to show you your surprise this way but, I do have flowers for you and a cute bear with a couple other things for your birthday in the backseat of my car that I was gonna surprise you with before you had to leave. I'll get it for you now. You didn't have to do that. Yes, I did. Be right back. Ah, how sweet. And what are y'all doing over there? Sure you don't wanna sit with us? We're sure bestie, sounds like you got a good man, just like me. I gotta be leaving soon. Oh my goodness you're so Roman. Owen, what are you doing here? I saw you come in here 10 minutes ago, and now, I finally have the guts to approach you. You look beautiful Mimi. How you been? I'm fine. What are you doing here Owen? I thought you moved to a different state 2 years ago. I moved with my mom yes but I'll be here with my dad for the summer. Listen, I know you're on a date so I'll go. But I miss you since I've been gone. Is your number the same? You left without a goodbye, dropped all contact with me even though I tried calling you but to no avail. My number's the same but I've moved on. Don't call me, it's time for you to move on too. Goodbye Owen. You heard her Owen now please leave before her new man gets here. And he'll fight tooth and nails for his woman. You better go my guy, to avoid any trouble. Please just go. I still love you. See you. You alright bestie? Yes. Just surprised to see him after so long. We'll talk about it later. Aha. Uh -huh. He's really back.
I love you Demetria, you know that. I love you too Owen. I'll be home soon baby. Yes I promise. I love you too but I gotta go now. Work papers is piling up. See you in a bit. Yes I'll pick up your favorite food platter after work. Bye my love. Hi. These are for you, birthday girl. Next day. I'm so tired from last night I don't wanna go to school today. Yeah but thank god this is the beginning of our last two weeks of 12th grade. And wow, you lost a lot of weight since yesterday. How so fast? By God's grace, I've been exercising and changing my diet, and I started Weight Watchers last month. Not to mention all the packing my things last night to move, and afterward fitting in an extra hour of standing cardio. It's helped me out a lot. Even to fit into my birthday dress. I noticed the change last night in your dress but today it's more noticeable. You look even more beautiful, I'm so happy for you bestie. Ah, thank you. Glory to God. So, that was some night last night was huh? Yes it was, and I think I'm in love with Jace. What? That fast? Well, we've been talking for a while and hanging out sometimes and let me tell you, he treats me so good. Opening doors, buying me things. He even prays with me over FaceTime sometimes. Wow. He sounds like he really reveres God and he likes and respects you. I hope so. I really like him and I think he's the one. Wait a minute. You're really into him. You haven't done it with him yet, right? It. Make love. Hello. No we haven't done it yet. I'm a virgin and I'm waiting until marriage and I told him so. And what he say? He said he respects my decision and supports me. And that he'll wait with me. Do you believe him? What's not to believe? Why would he lie to me? Are you implying is lying and that I shouldn't trust him? Of course not. I wanna see you happy, but I also wanted you to be sure about him before you get too deep. Remember, these are still early stages and anyone can pretend to be something they're not, but I hope he's who he says he is. I don't wanna see you get hurt. Yeah, but he haven't given me a reason not to trust him, and I seen him keep focus on me when other women pass by, even if they're very pretty and attractive. That's good, as long as there's trust between the both of you but please get to know him well enough before giving your heart to him and marrying him. I heard too many stories of people rushing into marriage only to rush for divorce. Just do your homework and keep an eye on things and always pray about it. Even fast if you can. Just don't rush. Love takes time. I think we're going to church not school cause amen to that. <laughs> so what about you and your guy? Any sparks flying? Alexander is kind enough and I appreciate what he's done for me last night. But, but I gotta get to know him. Maybe spend more time with him. That's a great idea because he can't stop talking about you to Jace and Jace tells me so. He was so into you last night and he's so sweet and he seems to really likes you. Oh, but you're moving in with your handsome billionaire boss today, right? Yes I am God is good. So who will you choose if you like both men? I probably don't have a shot with a billionaire even if I liked him, and I gotta get to know Alex better. So I don't know. After school. I'll bring my car around. Oh my goodness. No need. I got a ride. Look. Over there. That's him. The billionaire. Oh my goodness you were right. He's gorgeous. Bye. Bye. See if he has a brother if Jace don't work out. Girl you're too much. That man is nothing but trouble, in a billion ways. Hope she can handle him. Boss, hi. To what do I owe this pleasure of you personally picking me up today? Call me Elijah. Oh, so I can call you. 
<laughs> Only kidding. Ahem. You okay? Fine. So. I'm hungry. Are you? Well. Yes. Yes, I'm hungry. Where do you wanna eat at? I let you know, but I have a favor to ask you. Me? You need a favor from me? Yes. Really? Me? Yes. Is that a problem? No problem over here. Good. There's an event tonight with millionaires and billionaires, and I need you by my side as my girl. Can you do that? Around rich people. Is that even a question? Of course I will be by his side. Forever by his side if he wants. Yes my handsome prince, yes. But what's in it for me? A raise on your first paycheck. How much? How's $10,000 sound? It sounds like you got yourself a date tonight my man. You are something else. But you like it. <clears throat> Thank God you are at least 18 now because I wouldn't have asked you if you were younger. Sure. Well I'm still hungry so where are we eating at? Anywhere you want. Then let's go back to your place. We go back there and you'll be eating your own cooking after your shift is over. <laughs> and your shift starts the second your feet touch the floor. Yeah. Guess so. Wait, you laughed. I did. Is it so hard to believe? No, but I thought you were always so serious. Laugh again. I liked it. There's nothing funny. Not if I can help it. <laughs> Shoot, I chipped a nail on your hard abs. Be careful, my abs could be dangerous. I'll keep it in mind. Since you made me laugh twice, how about I treat you somewhere nice to eat anyhow? Like a restaurant? Yes. Okay, if you want. But I don't eat fast foods. Neither do I. But you gotta wear something else. I'll take you shopping. Over there. Some fancy store this is. But I'll aim for the best outfit that's not too expensive. I'm rich, remember. Just get something nice for now and for tonight and I'll pay for it all. Yeah, almost forgot you're rich. By the grace of God. Well I'll be over here critiquing your choices. Don't take too long to pick your outfits. I know women can take very long choosing just one thing. I got you. So they had their date, later got her things from home and moved her into the mansion. 
She got settled into her room, was given her job details but was happy to be among familiar warm and friendly faces, and she met his other employees, mostly much older people. She almost forgot about the other woman who likes him too was there. Later, she went as Elijah's date to the charity event at his request. They had fun together and got closer. He couldn't believe how beautiful she was, but she was still too young for him. After a while he thought about her and prayed for her, because he found himself falling for her. Not just for her looks but her heart and compatibility. How dare he ask her to be with him instead of me? What she have I don't. Jesus bless this house. Come, have a seat. It's so beautiful and wonderful in here. Thank you, glory to God. So how you like tonight's event? It was eventful, but exciting. You made it exciting. Think so? Of course. You know, we say that at our house too when we come back home. Jesus bless this house. Amen to that, but don't every Christian. Thanks for coming out with me tonight. It made me happy that you were able to be by my side. Don't thank me, you know I don't mind. Can't believe I'm saying this, but you look extra beautiful. When you were trying on all them clothes, this one is definitely my favorite. You wear it well, and for me. Thanks. You don't look too bad yourself. Maybe we just look good together. Maybe in a few years when you are older. Oh yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> Demetria, what was that for? Oh, I'm just getting started, mister. <laughs> Why are you tickling me? <laughs> Because I like it when you laugh, and you need to lighten up on my age. I'm 18, no longer a child. But I'm still your boss. Yes, I know, but I feel something for you and I can't help it. I understand that you're my boss and this should stay strictly business, right? Yes, and I'm flattered you desire me, I really am, but tell me something. What do you feel for me? Well, so far, I like everything about you. If I'm being completely honest. I like your personality, how you're my boss but also someone I can talk to and be myself around. Anything more? Your eyes, your smile, your overall looks, and I like how you can be serious but playful and gentle. I like how you're understanding and compassionate, not bossing me around without love, but instead, I can open up to you about personal things. And the fact you're a Christian is a plus. I know because I seen you in church Sunday. And I overheard you praying while we were on our way to the event tonight. I love God and I always pray. If it wasn't for Jesus Christ accepting me into his family when I gave my life to him years ago, all this money would have been gone and I would been broken homeless. Thank God he helped me get my act together. And speaking of going to church, now that I think of it, you used to come with your parents every so often right? Then you all stopped coming for a while, then came back Sunday and that's when I saw you there. I go faithfully. Good to know, and yeah. Wait a minute, you were going to the same church all this time. I was. See, not every rich person is going to hell. But if I may ask, what happened that you stopped coming and started again? Remember I told you about my dad's alcohol abuse? I remember. Well, that was why we stopped coming for a while but when my mom convinced my dad to finally get help. He did, and we decided to rededicate our lives back to the Lord. So now we're going to church again too. 
Thank God for this turn around. Wow Demetria, that must have been some journey for you, and believe me, I sympathize with you. I hope your dad recovers soon. Thanks, me too. At least you did the right thing, giving your lives back to Jesus, coming to church again. And what you said about why you like me earlier, I really appreciate that but you were too young for me. You were a fine young God-fearing woman, any man would be happy to have you. Any man you say, but I don't want just any man. Oh, sorry. Demetria. Don't. I'm sorry. So, how did you become so rich? Okay, I'll tell you. My great-great-grandparents moved here from Ethiopia and owned a oil rig that's been passed down from generation to generation, and now to me. That's where the money comes from. It's a blessing though because now I can also help others in need. This event tonight was for charity where the rich people get together to donate to different charities. Ah, that's awesome. And your accent. Where are you from? Ethiopia. Wow, how exciting. Now, other than what you shared with me about your family's struggles, tell me something personal about you, since I shared with you something personal. I have a best friend. We've been best friends since we wore the same outfit one time in elementary school, in the same class, and both our parents go to the same church. We always had sleepovers up until my dad's former friend. He... He would. He'd. It's okay. You don't have to tell me right now. I'm sorry Elijah. I want to tell you, but I can't seem to find the words right now. It's okay I understand. Get some rest now because tomorrow your shift starts after school. Okay. Wait. Yes. Thanks for an eventful night. I had a blast. I'm glad, Miss Demetria, and I'm happy it was you who was by my side. When I asked you why you like me, you didn't mention money. Why not? Because, I like you for who you are. Even if you weren't rich I would still like you. The money is a bonus to help out, yes, but that's not why. It's your heart I see, not your money. You are truly one in a million Demetria. Beautiful and special. Don't you like me too? Even a little. Maybe. I just never experienced a true love again, after my last girl died seven years ago. I'm used to being single and alone. But maybe now, you don't have to be alone anymore. How so? We all need somebody special with us throughout life. Did you know the Bible says two heads are better than one? Ecclesiastes 4, 9. Maybe God is telling you something. And maybe it's time for you to stop pushing good women away. I know it can be hard to love again, and scary, but love is bold and daring, and in most cases, rewarding. Take a chance, but no pressure, just a thought. See you. Good night and sweet dreams Demetria. Wise words from such a young woman. Still a woman and they almost always make good points. Gonna have to pray about this woman. How long have you been standing over there? Long enough to know you could use a nice body rub and massage. You're right, I could, but I'll just order one. It won't be by your hands, now get to your room and don't come out until it's time to start your shift in the morning. Boss you always reject me. Am I doing something wrong? Maybe it is I who did something wrong, by hiring you. I told you, this is only business. But look at your abs just waiting for me to rub it down. Mandy, stop it and go to bed. But why do I have to stop when your little fan don't have to? I know you took her with you tonight, parading her around like she's your woman. Why not me? Because you're not her. Now for the last time, get to your room. I'm better than her and you know it. I let that slide since that was your jealousy raging out, but I'll give you another chance. But don't put your hands on me again. Leave now. But I don't want to. Woman, I said now if you know what's good for you. <laughs> She's gonna be a problem I can't afford. I'll give her one more chance but that's it. No more chances. So Demetria got to work after school, washing clothes and cooking, with Miss May's help, showing her new recipes.
Then she'd go on dates with Alexander. And she also hung out with Owen to see if there was any rekindling of their past relationship, since he kept begging her to see her again. She eventually gave in since she thought she didn't have a chance with Elijah. She didn't feel the same connection with Owen anymore, but she hung out with him sometimes, to be nice. Same thing for Alexander, because let's be honest, her heart was with Elijah but she wanted to try moving on, forgetting her feelings for him, so she spent her free time with the other two guys. She wasn't allowed to bring anyone to the mansion, but Elijah knew about the other men she was seeing when he saw them together in public, sometimes. She stopped showing Elijah any attention and he knew it. She still had time for her best friend and visited her parents sometimes. They believed they made the right decision to let her live in the mansion. She introduced Elijah to everyone at church the following Sunday, and her parents immediately liked him and thanked him for helping them out, and for taking care of their little girl. Elijah reassured them it wasn't a problem at all, and they could visit her sometimes. They were surprised and worried how young and attractive he was, but Mimi reassured them nothing was going on. Demetria's best friend couldn't take her eyes off of Elijah, but Demetria reminded her she has Jace, so she snapped out of it, especially when he caught her staring at Elijah. Alexander saw Demetria's eyes light up with excitement around Elijah, and became extremely jealous. At the end of the week the girls graduated high school. Yes, we finally graduated thank God. Yes we sure did bestie, thank you Jesus. What do you wanna do to celebrate together? About that. I'm hanging out with Jace. Oh, all right. Well, have fun bestie. God bless you. God bless you too. See you later. Don't have too much fun. I'm so proud of you honey. Thanks mom. Congratulations baby girl. I'm so happy for you. Thanks dad. How are things going with rehab? It's going well by the grace of God. So, any plans tonight? Um. I'm waiting for someone to take me out and celebrate, but they're at least 15 minutes late. Well have fun when they show up, but stay away from the bad stuff okay? Yes daddy I know. I'll see you and mom later God willing. Alright, I love you. I love you both too. And your hair got longer. Look honey. Daddy my hair always grows back and fast. Pay your father no mind. But yes, your hair is growing back fast. Can't wait to see it again at its usual long length. Don't take long to stop by to see us again. Have fun but stay out of trouble. I love you. Okay, and I love you too mom. See you guys later. Where is he? Why is he running so late? I'll call him again got his voicemail again no point in texting because he keep leaving me on read 20 minutes later it's him congratulations graduate sorry i didn't congratulate you earlier at home but i had some business to attend to 
Are you doing anything to celebrate? I was going out with someone but he's almost 40 minutes late. I don't know if he's coming or not, even though I've been calling and texting him with no response. Put your head up, I'm coming to get you and we'll do something special, whatever you want. Text me the location. You sure? Yes, see you soon. That's why I love that man. Hi gorgeous, ready to go. Elijah, you called me gorgeous. I was only telling the truth. What are you doing here? Hey babe, sorry I'm late. I had to take care of someone, I mean something. Why are you here rich guy? Because apparently you stood her up so now a real man is here to show her a good time. What's your problem? You are. So go flaunt your wealth somewhere else. The only reason she would want anything to do with you is because of your money, just like the rest of the women. Look buddy, it's not my fault she likes me or that I'm rich. You shouldn't have stood her up, especially on a special day as this, I mean what were you doing? Or who were you doing? What? Nobody. Nothing or nobody. I said nobody, can't you hear? Look man, we are brothers in Christ. We shouldn't be feuding like this. Just from now on let this be a lesson to you. Straighten up man, ready to go. Yeah babe, you ready to go with me? First of all, I'm not like other women, only after his money. I would never be with Elijah for his money. I would be with him because I genuinely like him and he knows that. How dare you misjudge me like that. Don't box all women together. I love God, not money. Secondly, you stood me up. Where were you? Babe let's discuss this in my car, in private okay. Why you smell like another female all the way over here? Babe, that's my mom's perfume you're smelling. But you live alone. Um, yeah but, I visited her first before coming here. I gave her a hug before leaving. So can we leave now? We certainly can. That's a relief. Why? We're leaving separately. Care to show me a good time tonight? Let's go. Yes mom. I think I can do that. Jesus bless this home. Jesus bless this home. I'm so happy rehab is going well for you. Me too, but you know why I started drinking in the first place. No, why? Because we use condoms when we make love at your request, but you know how much I want another child by you. Honey I don't want any more children and you know that. It's too much for me. And that's why I started drinking. I hate wearing condoms, and I wish you wanted our family to grow like I do. At least one more child. I'll be right here taking care of you and our family, and I'll be the only one going to work if I have to. Honey we'll see, but let's watch the news, okay? Somebody tipped me at work that we should watch it. In the news tonight, a man is awaiting trial for confessing to a homicide. He says his deceased brother was molesting his children, and he held his brother captive for two weeks, but then decided to murder him when his brother said he'd do it again. He decided to come forward this evening. His children are sent to live with their mother. That's the latest news tonight. It was a matter of time before he found out he was messing with his children. But, I forgive him for not believing me and firing me. As sad as this is, in a way, justice is served. I hope he gave his life to Jesus before dying. Yep, yeah, and hopefully the one living will give his life to the Lord too. I love you. I love you too. You look very nice. Thanks. I thought this was strictly business. It is business, however, you deserve to enjoy your graduation day. And, you should know, I don't normally do this for anybody. You hold a special place in my heart. What's that mean Elijah? That I've been thinking about what you said last week. I like your personality, but your age. I'll try to put that aside but I can't do much with you until you are older, at least by two or three years. Then wait for me. So her mother called her to tell her the news about the pervert. The mom told her everything and Demetria felt a weight lift off her life, though she was a little sad it ended that way.
I had so much fun today, thank you. Don't thank me, you should let your hair down on special days. I'm just happy I could be the one to put a smile on your pretty face. Come, let's have a seat. What's wrong? <laughs> there now, what's the matter? I don't mean to ruin the mood. It's okay, just tell me what's wrong. The molester is dead. The molester? The man who sexually molested me for three months. He's dead, and I'm relieved that justice have finally been served. These are mostly tears of joy. Oh, honey, I'm sorry you ever went through that. Remember you asked me how my hair grew so long so fast after a short amount of time. Well I always had really long hair but once he started touching me, sniffing my hair in an excessive weird way. I washed my hair every day, then decided to cut it off but it's growing back fast. He, he also touched my best friend when we had sleepovers at my house but she said she wouldn't sleep over anymore as long as he was allowed in my home. So I was the only one left in the house for him to touch. Oh, my baby. He got away with it for a while, but now he's dead for touching his own nephew and niece. What an evil man he was. Serves him right. But why didn't your dad or your parents do anything about it? Well, he was friends with my dad and I tried telling my dad that his friend was touching me but he was always passed out drunk, and he began drinking sometime after he got a job at a phone company. So your dad never knew his friend was taking advantage of the situation when he was drunk? No, he was always passed out drunk. So the brother confronted my dad at my dad's job, accusing him of making up lies and fired my dad. My dad said he told the brother that it was a matter of time before he started touching his nephew and niece, the brother's children and sure enough he did. He'd probably been touching them for a while. So one day, the brother caught him in the act of doing something to his daughter so he must have gone berserk on him, and held him hostage for two weeks. The news said the molester bragged that he'd do it again so his brother killed him then turned himself in. My mom called and told me this when we were in your car on our way to the amusement park. And that's why you needed this job until your dad could find work again after getting help at rehab. <laughs> oh my baby, you've been through so much, but I'm here for you. I've got you, my love, it's all over now. While I'm here not another soul will dare hurt you and you can believe that. All that's in the past. You called me your love. Elijah do you love me? Yes, I do, very much. I love your Demetria. You came into my life and became my breath of fresh air. You are my second chance of love, and baby, I'm taking this chance. I got you my love. You will be my wife one day God willing. I love you so so much, but I can't tell you all this right now. Yes, but we can't move too fast because of age, but what you've been through is all in the past. No one will ever hurt you again, not while I'm around. I thank God he still watches over you. Baby please, just wait in faith for this to play out right. That's a start, as long as there's hope for us. Oh believe me, you have no idea. She has no idea how much I fell for her these past two weeks, but I like older women. She's pretty mature for her age, but when she's older I'll tell her everything. I hate seeing her hurting like this. My poor baby. Wait for me while I get older. Don't let another woman steal your heart away from me okay? Okay but don't worry about that. Protect your heart for me too, darling. God willing, if it's meant to be it will be. I pray it will be. You pray on it too. Alright. But how old are you? 29. You're old, but that's okay. But thanks for being here for me. Always my baby, come here. The molester is dead bestie. He's really dead. He is. Yes he is. Oh my gosh I had no idea. 
You mean you didn't see the news? No, but what a relief this is. It's a relief bestie get happy. <laughs> You mean, I can finally tell my parents all that's happened? Yes, yes you can. God is giving us this peace of mind. But are you okay? I'm much better at this news. Are you okay? Yep. <laughs> Sweetie, it's all over now. Don't worry. I better get going. Boss is waiting for me in the car. Keep your head up baby girl. God has gave us this victory. Let's work on forgiving them. Thanks dad. It'll be alright in Jesus Christ's name. So the friend told her parents everything and both girls parents got together to mourn and comfort one another. Then they band together, marched to court, making sure the brother got the maximum jail sentence. But they all let him know they forgave him and his brother, but explained to him that actions have consequences. He accepted. They urged him to give his life to Jesus Christ, that God loves him and will forgive him if he confess his sins, forsakes them which is repentance, and believe in Jesus Christ. He was sentenced to life without the possibility of parole. He gave his life to Jesus. He prayed for his children every day and asked their forgiveness for turning a blind eye. They forgave him. Elijah stopped Demetria from working for him until she felt better but he still paid her. He instead, catered to her every need, and prayed with her and over her. He taught her how to drive and when she passed the road test he bought her the car of her dreams. Thanks for agreeing to see me. I'm really sorry about last week, coming so late to celebrate your graduation with you. I forgive you. What else do you need to talk about? I really love you Mimi, I can't live without you. Let me stop you there. Look, I'm seeing someone else. Oh, but, I still love you. So this is what you're doing behind my back Alex. Seeing another woman. Like I don't cook and clean for you and give you all of my money. I followed you here to know the truth and now I guess I know. This is what you do. He's not worth it girl so drop him like a hot potato and never look back. But sadly for me, I'm stuck with him because I'm pregnant with his baby. He promised me marriage but that was four years ago. I can explain. Save it fake Christian. It's over. Please don't ever contact me again. In fact, lose all my contact and may God have mercy on you. So she deleted all his contact and changed her phone number and never looked back. She also broke things off with Owen for good and never looked back. She loved only Elijah, prayed for him and about him as he did for her. She wasted time on Alexander but thank God she never fornicated with him or kissed him. She remained virginal until marriage. She told her bestie about Alex and the bestie told Jace. Jace didn't know Alex was like that, so he scolded him out of love and dropped his friendship but prayed for him. The next year her best friend married Jace. Demetria was one of her maid of honors. Elijah loved Mimi, but he wanted to wait until she was a little older to spend time with her. In Jesus' name I do. In Jesus' name I do. What a long day. I'll get some sleep now, God willing. Oh, was that Elijah I dreamt of as my husband? Oh Lord, I better pray about this. God in Jesus name I come before you. Lord, thank you for everything, and I pray I always bless praise honor glorify worship exalt your holy majestic name forever always only and forever, in Jesus Christ name. Lord, I pray about this dream I just had, and Father I can't but help wonder if Elijah will be my husband. You know I love him, so Father, please don't dangle him in front of me and not bless him for me. Guess I'll try to sleep now Lord willing. Wow, that looked like Demetria. Will she be my wife after all? I'll have to pray on it. Lord God in Jesus Christ's name I come to you. Thank you Lord for everything, and Lord I pray I live to always praise, bless, glorify, honor, worship, exalt, and so much more your holy and mighty name. God, 
I need clarification about the dream I just had so please Lord, help me to know and understand your will for my life. I love her and I pray she'll be my wife one day if it's according to your will. So their prayers were fire hot, full of faith in God, praying on one accord in the spirit with the Holy Ghost fire shut up in their bones, Jeremiah 20, 9 KJV. Lord, you said in Jeremiah 29, 11 to 13 KJV, for I know the thoughts that I think toward you, saith the Lord, thoughts of peace, and not of evil, to give you an expected end. Then shall ye call upon me, and ye shall go and pray unto me, and I will hearken unto you. And ye shall seek me, and find me, when ye shall search for me with all your heart. Then Lord, you also promised me this in Mark 11:24, saying, Therefore I say unto you, What things soever ye desire, when ye pray, believe that ye receive them, and ye shall have them. As long as it's not a sin that I'm praying for and if it's according to your will, I'm gonna hold on to your promises and believe you because you cannot lie. I'm gonna believe Elijah is my husband and I thank you in advance dear Lord. Help me to wait on your promises and stay faithful to you. Forgive me my sins Abba. Help and guide me every day to be more and more like your son Jesus Christ. In Jesus Christ's name I pray, Amen. Lord, you said in Jeremiah 29, 11-13 KJV, For I know the thoughts that I think toward you, said the Lord, thoughts of peace, and not of evil, to give you an expected end. Then shall ye call upon me, and ye shall go and pray unto me, and I will hearken unto you. And ye shall seek me, and find me, when ye shall search for me with all your heart. Then Lord, you also promised me this in Mark 11:24, saying, Therefore I say unto you, what things soever ye desire, when ye pray, believe that ye receive them, and ye shall have them. As long as it's not a sin what I'm praying for and if it's according to your will, I'm gonna hold on to your promises and believe you because you cannot lie. I'm gonna believe Demetria as my wife and I thank you in advance Lord. Help me to wait on your promises and stay faithful to you. Forgive me my sins Abba. Help and guide me every day to be more and more like your son Jesus Christ. In Jesus Christ's name I pray, Amen. Father Lord God I come before you in Jesus name and I thank you for all you've done for me. Abba, I pray for Demetria that she'll be my wife. It's now been over two years she's been working for me and now I think it's the right time to tell her how I feel about her, now that she's older and more mature and I pray she still feels the same about me. I pray for her that she's well with you and help her with whatever struggles in life. Help me to be there for her and be the wise husband she needs. May you bless us with the wisdom and obedience to live a life pleasing to you according to your word and help us grow day by day in the grace and knowledge of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ your Son, and may you use us for your glory even in marriage. Lead and guide me to follow you always Lord, so that I can be and stay a faithful, strong and loving leader of my family. Thank you for blessing me with this wealth and I pray to never be selfish with it, but also be wise. I bless, praise, worship, glorify, honor, exalt your holy majestic name O Lord. May your will be done. Thank you Abba and in Jesus Christ's name, Amen. Father God in Jesus Christ's name I come to you. Abba, thank you so much Lord for your goodness, grace and mercies and blessings that I don't deserve but your love is so gentle and kind, thank you God. God, I pray for Elijah, help him with whatever he's going through and I pray he will be my husband but may your will be done Lord. Show me anything why he's not the one you're blessing me with and help me with the strength to walk away for good. Or if he is the one please let him love me too, with a genuine love not lustful that's only looks based. I pray the man for me, his love for me runs deeper than the sea and that he's somebody I can call in an emergency. Either way, Lord you are the only one I cannot live without, the only one I desperately need but I'm only human and I desire a man's touch, love and affection, whom I love, so please bless him to be my husband. I pray we never love no one more than you though. I pray to be ready to be a good God-fearing wife, able and ready for the challenges ahead, especially in marriage, and may you Lord help us along the way. May you bless us to be used for your glory even in marriage, giving other people the good news. Thank you God and I bless praise worship glorify exalt your mighty and precious name, a name that is above all names that every knee will bow to and every tongue shall confess that you Lord Jesus are Lord. Bless you and thank you God for everything. And in Jesus Christ's name I pray, Amen. I'll call her. Demetria, hi, could you come up here please? Lord help me Jesus, I'm glad you could make it, sorry if I disturbed your sleep. 
There's something on my heart I wanna share with you and it can't wait. I love you so much Demetria. So so much, and I can't live the rest of my life without you. I need you and I want you so bad. Thank you for coming into my life. I told you what's in my heart, now I need to know how you feel about me. Oh my gosh, you are the one for me. I prayed about you for you to love me and here you are confessing your feelings for me. I even dreamt of you. Does it mean, you still love me? I never stopped. Oh baby, that's music to my ears. Then will you do something for me? Yes. Will you marry me? Yes Elijah you know I will marry you. Thank you my love. I already have the ring picked out for you. Oh wow. Try the ring on for size, make sure it fits. Baby it's beautiful. Not half as beautiful as you. Let me wipe these tears from your eyes. Okay. But why did you wanna wait until I was older to court me and marry me? And what about that other woman who liked you? I fired her a long time ago. She was here for the wrong reasons. You slept with her? No mom. I wouldn't touch her with a 10 foot pole. Believe it or not I've been abstinent for 2 years. And you? I'm a virgin. Cool. Well I shared my heart with your cause now you feel more like a mature woman in her 20s or else I would have felt strange dating a teen child. And I also dreamt about you too. Thank you Jesus Lord. Thank you Jesus indeed. So they got engaged, but he bought her a house of her own so they wouldn't shack up leaving room for temptation. Since she was now his woman, he made her stop working for him. He transferred money into her account. He courted her for another four months just to be sure she was the one for him and they prayed on it, and soon discovered they were made for each other. They invited everybody to church for their wedding. They sought marriage counseling before marrying and got married soon afterwards. Her full-length thick hair grew back. Hello beautiful woman, you are a sight for so eyes. Thank you. No, thank you for blessing me with your beauty and love. These are for you. They're my favorite. Elijah you remembered. Oh honey, I remember everything about you. Shall we, Miss Gorgeous? We shall, Mr. Handsome. Ladies first. You pull out my chairs, open doors, buy me flowers every week. Is there anything you won't do for me? Oh baby, I'm just getting started. But to answer your question, I won't stop until you're my wife. No don't stop just because I'd be your wife. Keep the spice alive. Babe, never stop being romantic just because we get married. A woman loves a romantic man. I didn't mean it like that but you're right. Come here. I enjoy your kisses on my cheek and forehead. What? Why you staring? Do I have something on my face? Not on your face yet, but soon, my kisses will cover your whole face when you're my wife. I can hardly make you my Mrs. Elijah. I'd like that very much. I'd love it. God bless you my love. God bless you too babe. But since you're so rich, don't you have enemies? I don't want them to be a problem when we're married. Beauty my love, you have nothing to worry about. The only enemy I know of is that red-headed guy you were seen, but we squashed our beef at church. As a Christian man I try my best to be an older brother in Christ, laying the groundwork for younger Christian brothers to learn from me. Nothing's worth us having animosity against each other. You really take God and your Christian family serious, I like that. There needs to be more men like you. Maybe there already is but they should make themselves known. In Jesus name I do. In Jesus' name I do. You look breathtakingly beautiful in your gown. I know, but thank you. I wore it just for you. 
and beauty, you wear it quite well. I love you, my dream girl. I love you too, babe. Thanks for waiting for me. Don't thank me, you are worth the wait. Thanks for waiting for me. Oh honey, you're quite welcome. All this beautiful hair is all yours. Um hem, this is its natural length. Isn't your hair softer too, when you take it out of dreads? I know Ethiopians have some soft, beautiful hair. You know my people well, and you're right. A lot of us have soft hair. My parents had very soft hair, you almost wouldn't believe they came from Africa. My brothers and sisters have the same hair type. I believe ever since Moses married a black woman from Ethiopia, Zipara, that had a lot to do with it when their children intermingled with the Ethiopian people, passing that soft hair gene from Moses down from generation to generation among Ethiopians, but that's a subject for another time. Thank you for making me the most happiest man alive and becoming my wife. God willing I will see your need for nothing. I'm a blessed man for sure. Oh babe, the feeling is very mutual. I can hardly believe I'm married to the most handsome and wise man alive. And saved. God bless your darling. I'm going to take great care of you. God bless you too babe. I still can't believe you have your own beach babe. Yeah, for a while, but I never had a reason to go to it, until now. Ah. You're right, we look good together. Yes we do. And your hair, it's so beautiful. I knew Ethiopian's hair was soft. Now that your hair assistant took out the dreads and washed your hair I can see it in its natural form. Maybe I won't need a hair assistant anymore. Can you do hair? Yes but I'm still learning new techniques. Cool. Well let's have some fun. That was so fun, wow. But I think I'm gonna go change. Okay my love, I'll just be over there working out. Okay. Much better. I can watch him all day. The good lord surely took his time creating this beautiful strong man. He broke out in a sweat. Whoa, looking good out there babe. He must be practicing to beat the eggs and whip the cream. Hey babe, all done. Yeah, what a workout that was. Gonna take a quick shower. I'll take a shower first, then I'll have a special surprise for you after you shower. I like where this is going. I know this is the part we make love but. But what if I'm not ready to? I need to find my husband and tell him. Guess he gave everybody the day off so we could be alone. Well since he's on the phone I'll wait in the bedroom. No, I said the swan boat. Perfect, thank you.
you look deliciously beautiful, you know that. Ah. Uh. Beauty, what's wrong? I'm not ready to make love. Why not? Well, because when you touch me like that, memories of the pervert who touched me swirls my mind. Even though he's dead, the impact he left still lives on and I feel disgusting. I'm not used to you touching me like this. I'm sorry baby, I'm so mad at my dad for letting it happen. I see. My dad, my own dad didn't protect me. All he cared about was his stupid bottles of alcohol. I wanted to forgive him and I told him I forgave him, but I guess I don't. Now, touching me reminds me of the pervert, and I get uncomfortable, but I wanna perform my wifely duties to you. Sweetheart, look at me. I'm not him, I'm me, the man who loves you and I will never force you to do anything you don't wanna do. I can wait, tell you what, why don't we take it to God in prayer, then take a drive to your parents house tonight and you tell your dad how you feel. But remember my love, as hard as it is sometimes, we must forgive those who did us wrong. If we forgive others their wrongs God forgives us our wrongs, but if we don't forgive he won't forgive us. That's true, but now you have to suffer on our honeymoon night. It's alright, one day soon, we'll make sweet, passionate love, but at the moment, you need my support and to begin to heal, and I'm right here by your side. Baby you mean it. With all my heart, there's plenty time to make love. But for now, we need to take care of the matter at hand. You're a heaven sent Elijah. Thank you for being compassionate and understanding. I love you so much. I love you too beauty. I told you I'm here for you. I'll change clothes first. We'll both change. So they prayed. Father Lord God in Jesus Christ's name I come before you with my wife. And Lord you said where two or three are gathered in your name here you are in the midst. Lord, my wife has been through something so traumatic and heartbreaking, and I pray that you please begin to heal her thoroughly. Help her to forgive both men, the one who had no business touching her invading her privacy and forgive her dad. She's having a hard time as you know Lord, with forgiving, as anyone probably would given the situation but Lord, all things are possible within you. Please help her and heal her and protect her from all evil both seen and unseen. Bless me to be and stay God fearing faithful and supportive as she needs. Thanks Lord. Lord, yes please help me. Forgive me for refusing to be with my husband in an intimate way right now, but thank you Lord for understanding. Abba, please don't let bitterness steal me of the will you have for me because I can't forgive others. Yes I've been through something horrible but my husband does not deserve to suffer. No, I won't make him suffer. But I would also suffer because I wanna feel his sweet love, from his kisses, to making love to me, becoming one in your sight. I wanna be in his arms freely, whenever wherever, on one accord so help me. I pray to forgive my dad tonight God willing. I pray for and forever, holy and happy marriage, but help me God overcome this challenge. In Jesus name Amen. In Jesus name Amen. So after praying they got in his car and he drove to her parents home. She wanted to surprise visit her parents because if they thought she was coming over they would tell her don't, but to stay with her husband. The dad let them in, surprised they were over so late. What a nice surprise. Hello baby girl. And Elijah, welcome. Hello Demetrius. My apologies for stopping by unannounced but my wife has something she needs to say. By all means. Mimi what is he talking about? And let's sit. So what do you wanna say to me baby girl? Wait don't tell me. I'm gonna be a granddad, right? That's it, isn't it Elijah? What's going on? Where's mom? She's at work. What's that look for Demetria? Because daddy, you let him molest me. If it wasn't for your stupid drinking and passing out drunk this would have never happened. Oh, baby girl I'm so sorry but I was weak. Please forgive me. It's so easy to say forgive me because it didn't happen to you. I said I forgive you but I guess I really didn't. All those times I tried telling you what he was doing to me, putting his filthy claws all over my body just to see you passed out on the couch. Do you know how humiliating you looked? You gave the devil permission to enter our once happy home with your getting drunk. And I suffered daddy, not you not mom but me. Princess I'm ashamed, I know I should have protected you better. But I no longer drink. I'm getting better by the grace of God and I'll be here to protect you from now on. I promise. You're too late. 
I have a husband to protect me now. And no thanks to you I can't even make love to him in peace. That's how badly this affected me. I'm a shameful wife now because I don't want him touching me in certain ways because it reminds me of your so-called friend, and it hurts I can't perform my wife duties to a great man. Aw, oh, baby girl. Bad enough I lost my brother in a car accident, now this. It's always your children who are the targets for pain and misery. Now, my husband has to suffer me not showing him the love he deserves. I'm suffering too I need him but I won't allow him to be there for me in an intimate way because of all this. I know saying sorry won't fix anything. But I was going through something with your mother that led me to drink. Drinking turned into getting drunk and then passing out. Believe me, if I could take it all back I would. I would rather have suffered what you and your brother went through than you too. I'm not trying to put blame on your mom nor justifying what happened to you, but I made a mistake. But please don't think for one second you're a shameful wife because you are not. Baby girl you are right for letting this out now before it gets too far in your marriage. If anything, I've been a horrible father and I can admit it. Please forgive me, I already lost a child. I don't wanna lose you too. I'm so sorry Mimi. Let's pray together and seek Christian counseling together, all of us as a family, even your husband for your support. Then we'll ask pastor and the saints in church to pray for us. How's that sound? I love you so much sweetheart but please, forgive me. I made a mistake but never again. I've been a horrible father. I don't want to lose my daughter, Elijah. You won't lose her, and don't beat yourself up. We all make mistakes. At least you're sorrowful. I know some parents who aren't. We'll pray and seek counseling as a family at your request, and don't worry. Have faith in God it'll all work out. I better go after her. You're a good man of God's son, and you have one of the most powerful names in the Bible. God bless you and your marriage. My daughter's in good hands I see. Thank you Demetrius, well, see you again soon God willing. But you're rich, so where's your bodyguards at? Christ Jesus alone is all the bodyguard I need. With him, there's more with me than against me. Demetria forgave her dad that night but she still needed God's healing for past trauma so they all got together once a week and prayed, asked the pastor and saints to pray for them, and saw a Christian family counselor twice a week, mom dad Demetria and Elijah. He paid for all sessions, and after five months she was completely healed from that pain and was at peace. She even forgave the deceased pervert. Her dad wanted another baby to make up for the loss of their other son so the mom understood, humbled herself and they were blessed with another son. Demetria was excited to be a big sister again and she could finally give herself to her husband freely, as he waited faithfully for her, and they were blessed. Elijah I enjoyed this date. You never stop pampering me even though we're married. I told you I remember everything about you, even what you said before we were married. I won't stop the romance just because we are married, don't worry. You're my wife and I vow to love you as Christ loves the church. As long as you're happy, I'm happy. You're so sweet, and wise. Glory to God, and I like how you did my dreads with my undercut. Much better than before. Baby I'm ready. I'm ready to make love to you.
Thank you my love for giving me my boy. I love you so much more now. Honey it's by God's grace, but you're welcome. I just can't believe we're parents again, as old as we are. I'm just happy you finally agreed to have another baby and don't worry. I'll take care of everything God willing. Since I took Mimi's place, working for the billionaire, money isn't an issue anymore thank God. You trust me. Yes sweetie I trust you. Good. God bless you my darling wife, I love you. Beauty my love, you gave me a reason to live, and you gave me a son. Baby, thank you, I love you so much. I know it was rough for you at first but I thank God how far you've come with the Lord's blessings. If only my parents were alive to see their new grandson. What happened to them? They died due to old age but they had a blessed long life. Also, thanks for helping me pick the next three charities to donate to. We'll donate first thing next week God willing. Okay babe. I love you so much Elijah, and although it started off as young love, I grew a respect for you, and that's when I loved you more. Now you're my husband but it feels like my wildest dreams have come true. It's by God's grace, and your loving support that helped me, so thank you handsome baby. I'm happy to be a Mrs. Elijah. Oh honey, I don't know where I would be without you. Thank God I don't have that to worry about. God surely brought us together. Yes he did, and now, I can't stop loving you, beauty. I love you too babe. Elijah let Demetrius work for him at the mansion, cleaning and mowing the lawns, and Demetrius couldn't be happier. He felt that family was everything. Demetrius' parents' house mortgage was paid off in no time and they kept their house. Demetria knew Elijah was a very handsome man and just about every woman threw themselves at him, but he always reassured her his faithfulness to her because of his faithfulness for God first. And although he basically has money handed to him, he still decided to occasionally work at a library, filling in for his brother. Surprisingly to him, a lot of women visited the library and most of them always flirted with him but he quickly reminded them he was happily married. Hello, handsome. What are you doing here? And there she is, the girl who never gave me the time and day when I always asked her out when I was single. Now, here she is flirting with me but I'm a happily married man now. I better ignore her because if I don't, I'll probably fall into her trap. She's so much more beautiful since the last time I saw her, Lord help me Jesus. Don't you hear me talking to you? I love my wife, and I could never cheat on her. I could never risk losing my family for a scandalous affair, God forbid. I love you beauty. Babe I love you too but can we watch this in peace? <laughs> now be quiet. That's my girl. Don't drink to get drunk. If you know drinking will be a problem for you avoid it at all costs. Drink only water. A little wine is good for the belly sake and infirmities, but know your limit and walk away. Pray and seek Jesus' help because God loves you but he expects you to be wise as a serpent yet harmless as a dove. While there are many lessons in this story, getting drunk is the main one. Because of Demetrius' alcohol abuse he wasn't sober, and since he wasn't sober he couldn't protect his daughter, which led to many problems but thank God for restoration. A life being drunk is no way to live, but only invites the devil into your home to kill steal and destroy. Be filled with the Holy Spirit. Wherefore be ye not unwise, but understanding what the will of the Lord is. And be not drunk with wine, wherein is excess, but be filled with the Spirit, 
speaking to yourselves in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing and making melody in your hearts to the Lord, giving thanks always for all things unto God and the Father in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, submitting yourselves one to another in the fear of God. Ephesians 5:17 to 21 KJV. Drink no longer water, but use a little wine for thy stomach's sake and thine often infirmities. 1 Timothy 5:23 KJV. Behold, I send you forth as sheep in the midst of wolves. Be ye therefore wise as serpents and harmless as doves. Matthew 10:16 KJV. God bless you all in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and turn on bell notifications as it helps the channel. God bless you.